All right, so I entered Idaho City as the major fires were burning. I wanted to wait until the last minute, maybe a couple days before I had a court date that was set uh, from an arrest I had. Previously, I, I, ha I had an arrest for just an obstruction charge, which... I had to follow through on and and uh, do the um, reporting uh, for the the day that the judge set, and it was a month wait, and I had spent that time in Boise, but when it got to the the last two or three days. That's when I started towards Idaho City, kind of taking my time. I, I stopped uh, at some some rest stops just to, to relax and survey the area, get familiar with it. And then when I got in, the 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 day on the day of of the fire, there was a, a major fire that swept across the road between Boise and Idaho City and, but my my public defender who who is located in Boise he he got through before that fire went across the road which which caused uh the traffic to have to get stopped and and redirected which redirected means like not you're not going to Bo you're not going to Idaho City today type of situation until they could get that under control which that was a separate fire but I waited un until the court dates my my public defender was able to uh, uh, get there and on that day uh, I was really hoping that we would just get it all settled uh, but based on my experience from a previous arrest um, in it just just uh, out of Meridian, outside of Boise. Uh, I, I was pretty sure that it's probably it was a it was a pre a pre trial uh, hearing, which isn't which nothing nothing is is uh, decided on. I, I was hoping it could be dropped, but it was just a pre trial, so I had to after that after that date I had to wait another month. And that's when I, I decided just to stay in Idaho City and just, just wait it out because I, there was really nothing in Boise of, of any further interest to me. I've, I've seen the, the city enough and I didn't really care to hang out around there. It's cooler at nights, uh, but there was that fire in Idaho, around Idaho City that was really, really troubling. And... Not only that, but just the people there. Maybe they were stressed out by the fires uh, because they lost uh, a lot of business during them fires. Although, I mean, they may have lost tourist traffic. They really picked up business with the, the firefighters because there were all kinds of these, these uh, emergency firefighter uh, people. They have... They have they they came from like all kinds of different states and stuff. They had different names, hots, like hot shots. There were pilots and and all that. They all came in by I think like the thousands and stayed around Idaho City. Some on on the airport property, and that really that business really picked up. And I, I believe. They were shopping too, um, but yeah, I I was there during that that fire, and every so often wafts of smoke would would billow over the city and around. You could just see it around, outside of the city, where certain fires would have were were erupting. But I I, I spent I spent a month in Idaho City, and. I was hoping for a nice relaxing wait as I research more about my court case 
and and uh, how other people have have fared with these obstruction charges, but it turned out to be more than just the uh, obstruction uh, stress. It it um, the re trying to research the obstruction and stuff. It turned out to be more of a challenge than that. More than I expected. Okay, there were. There were just all kinds of little problems I didn't I didn't expect to develop. It was it was it was just hot and it was it was really like dusty, okay? There was just dust all over the place. Their mosquitoes were just cl clouds at night. And I I was I was really having a hard time keeping them out of my car. Okay. Then the smoke at times was hard to breathe. Uh, the people, um, when I when I started posting some videos, well, I didn't even need to post really videos of the city directly. I, I, th I think people had a preconception of me uh, with the cop video I, I uploaded before I even got to Idaho City, and then I started uploading more videos on that same channel, this channel, and and uh, I just started getting some some kind of response to that some kind of very negative response and that really made living over in in Idaho City a a, a chore just trying to last a month i i mean i i was i was I, I just identified where i could sleep like legally okay so i wasn't breaking the law uh part being parked in, in anywhere overnight, but <clears throat> even even uh, on the side of there's this one spot on the side of the road. Even, I even had like one guy ask me if I was parked on the side of the road because of the fire, maybe, or asked if I was a fire volunteer. People start asking questions why I'm I'm in a certain place, and I was kind of tied a little bit to the to the fire, but that fire happens while I was there and you know I whether there was a fire there or not I was there to, to fight my my court case but I just I just happened to, to be there during the fire I stopped at some of the the like they had update times where they'd offer a group um, like meeting for everybody so they could perform their their just demonstrations of, of what's what's going on with the progress of the fire and and uh, 20 it seemed like 20 30 people would show up to, to learn what what was happening with it and I, I showed up at a couple of them actually just so you know within a month I showed up at two of those those meetings and and they were interesting they had good computer graphics and I think better better map software than then Google Maps, you could see the the features of the mountains really good, and and uh, how they how they were going to cover the mountains. It, the the mountains seemed to be a lot of difficulty for them. So I I just had I just had to to stay there a month, and it was like staying in a haunted house in a way, Stay, staying in a ghost town um, with live people. The living ghosts—they're just descendants of the of the old miner, the gold old gold miners. I mean, they in the entrance sign they they say this is how much uh, money in in gold uh, they pulled out, and I th it's like hundreds of thousands of hundred like like a I don't know a few million. I have to look at the sign again. It's it was it was a lot of it was a lot of money, many zeros they they had. I th it was over a million dollars, I think, in gold or something like that, and it's believable. Okay, it seems real, real uh, plausible. Now, before I even went to Idaho City, um, there's this this lady in in a food bank line in Meridian. Um, she, we, we struck up a conversation about how she went to Idaho City, and and she still mines probably to this day okay she said the the previous year she she got like a 
gold nugget worth five hundred dollars, something like that, or enough gold to equal five hundred dollars. So yeah, it's it's not it's not something for for people to just to make a killing like the old days, but uh, you you can still you can still make some some money, and that kind of stress might be. A problem for that area as well when newcomers show up there they're probably there's people there they still have this the sense of greed about uh, newcomers outsiders showing up um, who could possibly steal some gold and it's not that hard uh, to to uh, change up to, to come in with a new attitude a new a new perspective on how to, to mine for gold Okay, a fresh, a fresh, uh, a fresh body who's motivated to to look for gold. Okay, I mean, I was, I was reading in the, about the gold rush and, and how one guy dug a hole in the ground, and then he couldn't find anything. He gave up, and somebody comes in to that hole the next day and then digs digs sideways into the hole and and finds like twenty thousand dollars in gold. Okay, finds finds the payload. Okay, it's just people people get motivated to to mine the gold and then they don't find anything uh, for a certain period of time on their you know however they're whatever they're motivated for they leave it somebody else comes in and then they find it it's it's just uh, it's it's a lot of luck there but I mean you can't just dig anywhere there's there's a bit of a process too okay and if you go to the museum you see that there's there's uh, some hints on what to look for, like this black dirt or quartz. You look for quartz or black dirt, something like that. It's a certain type of soil that increases your your chances of finding gold. But I I, I showed up to a, to a city that ha has a very treacherous background with gold prospecting, under fire. Uh, with I think. Probably with all this gold gold fever still going on today, probably very corrupt police force, which really doesn't sound like it's it's been corrected. They fly the black American flag on their window, which it's a bad that's a bad symbol to me. That's that's that that underground government that 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 people talk about the deep web of of government. Um, that's just it's not it's not America to me. To, to to fly that type of flag and they they flew it proudly and and I mean the cop who arrested me and th threw me in jail did it f for uh, alter ulterior motives I believe so there's a lot of what I believe corruption but I mean they're not just you're not just going to get people to admit that but it, it seems to have infected the the local people around there as well. It's just, it's this, this collection of, of uh, perceptions of, of their culture. It just, it really, it pervades in their culture. And I just, I just walk into it and, and, and find just more, more struggle than, than I ever expected. I, I thought maybe I could just camp on the outside of the, the city, the town, more like a town and, and just wait out this court date. I mean, there are some positives, positive experiences where I I, I could cook and exercise, mostly in peace and privacy. But uh, that's that was mixed up with with uh, people who who communicated harm to me and accused me of, of things beyond just this this uh, um, arrest that I had. Okay, just just all kinds of silly rumors, just be spread between just the the few people that live there. They they had a a, a tight. It is like it is like uh, crazy people just spreading crazy rumors with with other crazy people, and and then the rumors get more wild and and inaccurate logic definitely gets thrown out the window with these type of people 
and it's it's infected their their small governments and and the people and it's really something you got to just be careful of